Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Slim ROM 5.0.2 Lollipop version 0.91 for Galaxy S3. This is the alpha version and it is the unofficial Slim ROM so don't get confused. This is by a developer in XDA developer so yeah that is really cool. Now let's get into the ROM. Now Slim ROM I have already done, uh, have already done one review for the Slim ROM version uh, which is an earlier version of the Lollipop one so you can uh, well it's pretty relatable but this one has a lot of bug fixes and it is much more stabler than the previous version so that is really cool let's get into the stuff now you just saw the large long screen which is just similar to any other lollipop rom it's nothing special uh, the launcher is uh, different though the launcher is not the actual cyanogen mod or slim rom uh, the or lollipop launcher this is a different which is the slim launcher you can see here so that's really cool um, you have all that let's go to the settings menu and see the about phone page in the about phone page you will see uh, you can see it is Android 5.0.2 I'm not really sure if you can but if you don't here it is it is 5.0.2 and slim version 502 uh, alpha 091 and official with the latest date so that is a mouthful of for a name, but uh, yeah, it is that uh, build date. All of this you can see. You may be able to see that this the interface is a bit smaller than any other ROM. That is because LimRom does not use the 320 DPS setting, which is ideal for Galaxy S3, which is a stock configuration for um, Galaxy S3. Is I'm going to go for a bat and say it is 280, but I'm not really sure. But this is definitely smaller. So yeah. Now the other settings. Now s most of you guys who know Slim ROM and have used Slim ROM, Slim ROM is not really for people who want a lot of settings. It's not. They have a bit of settings which will make it easier for people to use it. But this is going to be a really stock experience. But there are a few options which I'll be getting into. You have interface settings in which you have two settings. First of all, Quick setting, you have two options, quick pull down from the right edge and smart pull down if you don't have any notification you will go into the settings menu. That is it. Status bar options, that is something which I really appreciate because come on, we need status bar options. You have clock and date, you can have alignment to the center kind of like what I have done. Time in the center, AM, PM indicator and uh, day of the week etc. You have you can have that. Also you can just disable that all like, altogether if you don't want it. So yeah, pretty cool. Battery shadow style indicator you can have all of these dotted circle is something which is new I guess it's not available in Cyanogen mode ROMs but um, it was available previously you have battery percentage indicator inside the icon next to the icon brightness control by swiping you have that also which is something of a necessity if you are not going to use if you if you're not going to use adaptive brightness so yeah uh, notification ticker all of that is working pretty cool does work out neatly now display settings now everything else is going to be a uh, stock experience so I'm just want to say that now the fun size indicator you do have a fun size indicator you can change the fun size to smaller than what it is and you probably can't see anything right now I'm going to change it back to 95 which is a stock normal value um, yeah I really appreciate the small fun size which I really like it does have ambient display and ambient display does work out with the recent uh, changes and with the kernel which is this is using ambient display does work out better than it was previously previously using so yeah that is really cool wake up on charge etc etc you have basic options which is available uh, sound and notification again it is basic options you have a uh, notification light you have you have app notification timeout etc etc you have a lot of things which is pretty cool battery is something which i want to address because slim roms have been notoriously available or notoriously known for their battery life because out of the uh, AOSP ROMs, Slim ROM normally provides the best battery life for anything. For uh, this, at least our phone. Uh, you can see the battery curve. Uh, this has been used for this much time. You can see the battery curve. I have obviously reflashed this, so just uh, <laughs> letting you know. Uh, I've done another benchmark at about this time, so that is the deep uh, curve. This is not the best battle life. Well, it is not at least not something which I expect 
of a slim rom uh, maybe it's because it's an unofficial version and uh, it doesn't really have everything available this is not still not something which I would um, kind of expect out of a slim rom uh, with battery life so yeah the main advantage of having a slim rom was the battery life this doesn't really seem to have it yet it may be getting there but yeah but this does have a better battery life than other CM ROM so just clarifying that uh, out of all the lollipop ROM this may be uh, the better uh, battery life ROMs but it was just not up to my expectation for a slim ROM so just getting that out of the way so yeah extra settings etc etc this is not based on cyanogen mod so you can expect a lot of bugs which you experience with cyanogen mod like the um, I don't know GPS bugs and stuff which will not be here in this phone so yeah it's pretty cool so let's get into the ROM now, into the apps now. I have installed Antutu Benchmarks to just check out. It does include a file explorer which I really appreciate. It is a slim, uh, slim uh, explorer, simple explorer which I appreciate because I really like explorers because I need explorers to do my, to install at least Antutu Benchmark uh, to benchmark the ROM. So yeah, it also comes with audio effects which is pretty cool. You can select audio effects, you have to turn it on and it does work out. It's an equalizer which is a system wide equalizer so it does work out neatly pretty cool camera now camera is a bit of a weak spot for any uh, USB based ROM so I'm not going to bash too much on that uh, it does work out neatly the um, selfie mode is not much of a uh, the the aspect ratio is a bit off so but the recording is still not effective so just uh, wanted to tell you guys that the aspect ratio is a bit off so yeah. Let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which is uh, kind of similar to any other lollipop ROM. It is 26,000 uh, somethings. So yeah, I'll show you, I'll be showing you guys the benchmark score. Also stability test. So I have already done the stability test to just check out uh, what it is and uh, you can see it is not extremely unstable or anything like that. I didn't have any crashes during the stability test which I have had with other lollipop ROMs. Uh, so the stability test did work out neatly. Uh, it does have a very very high temperature start. Uh, so yeah, the peak value is about 43.3, which is uh, which is a bit toasty for anyone. So yeah, let me just do the benchmark for you guys. So yeah. So yeah, we have the benchmark scores. It is about 26,200. The average was about 25,900 because I did have a lower score than this and yeah I did use it I did go through the benchmark for like four or five times because I wanted to do the stability test each time afterwards so yeah that is the benchmark score it's pretty good I mean it's not bad it's not extremely good either but it does work out neatly so yeah pretty cool so yeah let me show you guys the uh, boot animation which is a new version for slim rom lollipop so let's let's get into that So here is the boot animation for Slim ROM Lollipop releases, which is kind of a flat. Uh, it's really cool. I mean, it's minimal. It's pretty cool. It's really nice. And you have the ending. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Um, I really like this ROM. In the conclusion, I really like this ROM, and I really like how stable this is. This can be one of the best base ROMs. I mean, this can be one of the best uh, daily drivers for anyone who is willing to use a lollipop rom as their daily driver this does work out neatly apart from the battle life which honestly saying i can't really say this is bad battle life no it's not for a lollipop rom this is a very good battle life from what i can see uh, but i was having a bit more expectations out of a slim rom because it doesn't have a lot of features to bog it down in the in terms of battle life so not really sure what happened but in the later runs maybe this will have a better battle life so yeah so i guess that much is it about the video uh hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye